the new head bolts. Okay, the new head bolts and stuff like that's the torque to yield. So these bolts are actually a one-time use and they stretch. Normal torque wrench doesn't always get it no more. Under special tools they show torque angle gauge. Okay, so on these bolts you still you torque it down with a torque wrench. You do it in the three steps. But we're gonna go to I think it's 22 foot pounds with a traditional style torque wrench. And then you have things like these. That little arm fits in this thing over here and it's supposed to hold it. You set your degrees or whatever to zero and then it, when you turn the ratchet it tells you how many degrees to turn. Which this, you know, we've done a few of them with these. They're all right, but this is all plastic. Where this goes in, that little metal rod. Here, I'll just show you. Okay, to use one of them, you put the socket on it, put it on the bolt. You got this little arm here, and you gotta put it in there some sort of way. Like here, you could lay it against the head here. And then once you do that, you would turn this up to zero, put your ratchet in here, and as you turn, you just watch the needle till it goes up to the first one would be 90 to go right to here. The problem with these are, it's easy for them to move around and turn. Okay, now this thing here just has a magnet on the back and you can actually stick it on a wrench. Should have cleaned the bench up there probably first. You stick it on any kind of a ratchet. Okay, and you can move it around. If you turn this on, it calibrates itself. Okay, now it's at 40 degrees. If I wanted to go higher, you just hit the up button until you get to whatever you want. And then the down button if you go too far. And then you hit select. Okay, now when I turn this, I'm just going to turn it this way so we can see. So it tells you what angles you're on. Now just say I went that far and I can't swing no farther. I can go back and then I hit the button and it starts me out again right where I left off. See it turned yellow, that means I'm getting close. 56.3 you got just a little bit of leeway, but we're just spinning it. You're usually on a ratchet out here swinging. But anyway, we'll try this when we get it in the car and start doing the head bolts. Okay, so now you hit that button, let it do its thing, and then you can start pulling. There, it's turning yellow and green. So that is a lot easier than trying to hold the dial and make sure nothing slips and turns and all. Push the middle button, let it do its thing. And slow down when you get to the yellow. Right there. It seems like it's almost one degree early it beats on 60, you, but that's good because that's... 69.7. You know before you... Yeah, 69.7. You know before you get there and you don't go over so easy. Now you hit this. So that is a lot easier than having to stick that little prong down and something and hold that and do everything. <laughs> 